Sevilla has really blown my mind. So much to discover in Spain. If you want to study in a palace, come to Sevilla. It's gonna be our first, so let's see if we enjoy it. I'm excited. Give you a big clap ring. It's our second and final day in Sevilla. And uh, we have quite a few things still to see. So we're gonna check out Plaza de España. We also would like to see Tania, Tiana, <laughs> Tiana. Triana. 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 Triana is a colorful neighborhood on the other side of the bridge. And for tonight we have something special, but we'll tell you more about that later. First on the agenda, as usual, is some coffee. On every corner of every street in Sevilla, there's a place where you can have coffee. And do you know there are 3,000 tapa bars in 3, Sevilla? 3,000? Yeah, 3,000. <laughs> and we've tried two so far. And of the two that we've tried, they've both been good. Do you think we've become addicted to coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Got our coffees and breakfast. Now it's a 26 minute walk to the Plaza de España with Ethiopian coffee beans. Mm. All the streets of Sevilla have these large orange trees on the sidewalks. So cool. I think they'll be ripe in December and then you can just eat an orange on your way to work. This is a Baroque palace and at the same time, the seat of government. And these lampposts are from 1832. We're just casually walking through history here. Behind me is the University of Sevilla. Wow, imagine studying here. Let's go check it out. We can be students again for a day. If you want to study in a palace, come to Sevilla. Incredible. That is such a beautiful building. I wouldn't mind studying there. <laughs> yeah, should we go back to school? <laughs> I must say that Sevilla has really blown my mind. It's without a doubt one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. And it's, then the weather is a bonus. <laughs> and it's so clean everywhere. You yeah. can't always say that for... Many big cities. Yeah. <laughs> These ceilings look a lot like the ones in Alcazar. The only difference is that these are nowhere near as old. Plaza de España was built less than a hundred years ago, mm. but that makes it no less impressive. So Plaza de España means Spanish square and it's representative of the 48 provinces that you have in Spain. Right behind me you can actually see the colorful alcoves with the benches and there's actually 48 of these around the square which is quite cool. Yeah. Many people know about Valencia but have you heard of Palencia? With Palencia? <laughs> no I haven't. No. I don't think we know that many provinces actually in Spain. So we Valencia. need to go to Palencia. Yeah, maybe next time. So much to discover in Spain. Bordering Plaza de España is Park Maria Luisa. So of course we're going to go have a look. So we are in the Maria Luisa Park. It's a pretty big park. You've got a museum, you've got the gardens, you've even, even got a waterfall in here. So we've just left the park and we are heading to Triana. How far away is it? About 30 minutes walking. It's 
So instead of walking, we're going to rent one of these scooters. Yeah, I think I need to rescan. Oh, it was a struggle to fit my phone in here. Oh. So you just scan the QR code. Whoop. Okay. And then I'm going to do unlock. Oh, I'm ready. Woo. The clock's right ticking. That was a lot of fun. Those adventures. <laughs> That's a really quick way of getting around. So what now? We see now we're going Triana. To Mercado Triana. Let's go check it out. It closes soon, right? Yeah. At three o'clock. It looks like quite a few places have closed already. But it's still nice to walk through. So we found a place in Triana Market to have some lunch. It's an arroceria, meaning they serve rice dishes. I ordered a drink that is typical of Spain. It's called Tinto de Verano. So it's one part red wine and one part soda. I think they should make all red wine like this. Hey, atacala. We got, I forgot the name of it. We'll put the name on the screen. <laughs> Something with rice, uh, the seniors. <laughs> but it's basically paella with the seafood already peeled. So it's for the older people. <laughs> it's nice, but I've had many paellas and I really like it when the bottom is like a bit crunchy and burnt. <laughs> it might just be a personal taste. The prawns in this paella have so much flavor. That was tasty and now we're going to do some sightseeing of the Triana neighborhood, which is actually the birthplace of flamenco. Well, though Sevilla is the fourth largest city in Spain, it doesn't actually feel like it. There's like so many escapes. You can go to the park, you can come here by the river, and it feels very relaxing. All the houses are super colorful here, that's what this neighborhood is also known for. And thirdly, Triana is famous for its ceramic shops. What is it? It's a barber. What? It's a barber. A barber? It's a barber. We're getting back on the scooters and rushing home to change in time for... Flamenco! A flamenco show. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be our first, so let's see if we enjoy it. We made it to the Museum of Flamenco and I can already hear the footsteps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if we can film inside, but if not, we'll tell you what it's like after. <laughs> yes, so there's first the museum followed by the flamenco show. That was intense. I still don't understand how they were able to tap their feet so quickly. Oh, yeah. It was like 10 taps per second. <laughs> <laughs> and, wow. at, and at one point it got so intense, the guy was sweating like crazy and the sweat was flying everywhere <laughs> because it was just so intense. Yeah, really. 
really intense. It was so it was so good. I did not expect that. And I didn't also expect it to be like three dancers. I always thought there would be one dancer, yeah. but this time there was two females and one male. Yeah, it was a group and I loved how the guitarist was like looking at the dancer's feet yeah, I to be able well. to tell how to we should time play. It. Yeah. That was really cool. I wonder if some of it was a freestyle. It seemed like it because yeah. they were looking at each other and like yeah. giving each other signals. Like coordinating, yeah. The music to the dance. Yeah, I wish we could have shown you but I guess you just have to come here and experience it for yeah. yourself. Yeah. <laughs>